so much for being here. Well, when stars from Central Illinois come home, people want to know. Smiley Burnett was a legend on the stage and on the screen, but he got his start right here in Central Illinois on WDZ Radio, the state's first commercial radio station. Burnett became known for a variety of voice characters and was best known for playing Frog, a trusty sidekick and comedic relief for cowboy Gene Autry in films like The Laramie Trail and Guns and Guitars. Now, later in his career, he played railway engineer Charlie Pratt on Petticoat Junction. Here's a portion of his interview with Sheriff Sid from the Vault, 1963. I wasn't due back at the studio until the uh, 13th of October. I've already got the ones that I'm in uh, already made. How many of the series, the new Petticoat Junction, well, are you in? They, well, I'm in eight out of 13 in the first section, and it gets more as we go along. You're the but engineer? I'm Charlie Pratt, and uh, I, I have the Hooterville Cannonball, and a week from <laughs> Tuesday night, following Red Skelton, uh, we'll be in between Red Skelton and Jack Benny on the entire CBS network, coast to coast in the United States and Canada, and uh, I'll be bringing the Hooterville Cannonball down the track in most of the episodes. Wonderful. Now, we find ourselves at Champaign, but your visit is to Tuscola. There's a reason That's for that. That's right. Well, th th this is my, my uh, mother, uh, mother too. Not my original mother, but she kind of helped raise me down there, good old Tuscola, okay, didn't you? Right. I, I right. call her mommy. Used to wash my face. I made this 25-mile drive here every day, seven days a week for a good many years. In down Austin? There. WDZ. Everybody knows my Austin around here. <laughs> Frog, I bet there are five, six, ten thousand 10,000 people that say they know you personally, that you lived in Urbana, Monticello, yes. Villa Grove, Tuscola, Urbana, That's right. and parts east, north, south, and west. And I guess I've told a million people on television that nobody ever had a hometown where the people were sweeter to him or nicer than they were here in Champaign, Urbana, and in uh, Tuscola. Everybody always seemed to be for me. I don't remember anybody that was ever trying to knock me or run me down when I was trying so hard to get ahead. I got the name Smiley on a, on a program that uh, Mrs. Bush wanted me to do on Saturday morning called the Studio, the Studio Party. And we used to pretend we had an airplane and we'd put paper in the fan to make the sound effect. <laughs> <laughs> That's wonderful. You also developed a lot of uh, sounds, impressions with the voice that helped you to do these characters, didn't you? Oh, I use them in my act now when I make personal appearances. A bumblebee, I believe, is one of them. You know, time is flying by. Next year, I will celebrate my 30th year in making pictures. Oh, that's my. It was 1934 when I started. How many films did you make for Republic? Well, I made 171 of them playing the part of Frog. Mm -hmm. And now I've made eight more being Charlie Pratt. Mrs. Bush, you mentioned a couple of times I'm waiting for Smiley to arrive a moment ago. You were glad to see him get rid of this hat. Yes, he doesn't I like was. that old hat. <laughs> <laughs> no. Is it going to be difficult for you, Smiley, to go from Frog Millhouse, a character that uh, is known internationally, to Charlie Pratt? Well, it's been a great surprise to me to be photographed without the hat because for 30 years I submerged Smiley Burnett completely mm -hmm. and let Frog uh, take all the honors. Now, Frog is very jealous of Charlie Pratt, but uh, Smiley Burnett gets all the money that Frog makes and he isn't, <laughs> he isn't going to let Charlie Pratt know anything about it. Yeah. Oh, gosh, I've got lots of pleasant memories and I just love everybody around here and it's so good to be home and, and visit with all of you. Wish I could stay longer, but i got a lot of irons in the fire these days. And we're about out of film, and we'll be seeing you on other television. Bye now. I'll be frog one more time. Mrs. Bush? Bye now. Bye now. <laughs>